So guys, another episode here. We're not out and about. We're, we're gonna go at the park and show you guys the Presno Park, but it's a little bit cloudy out there. We're thinking it's gonna rain. And um, I found out that uh, my team are actually playing the Niners. So that's why I'm wearing all sports gear, guys, to represent the, you know, the Niners. So if you guys are not aware of the, of the, uh, the team, it's, it's uh, actually American football. And I'm actually wearing my Spurs, guys. I'm, I'm a long time Spurs fan. So, so yeah, so we just decided to do some a little bit of grocery and we're going to be uh, cooking at home. So uh, our menu for the, the night, guys, is uh, we're cooking um, my version of the, uh, I would say like creamy, cheesy uh, Alfredo. Um, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, chicken. Yeah, the chicken creamy Alfredo. Um, that's what we're cooking to, uh, tonight. So this one is really simple, guys. Really easy dish. Uh, dish. Um, uh, like, like what I said, it's probably not your typical uh, Alfredo uh, that you guys see out there or you guys uh, eat because like, as you guys probably know, I do a lot of, uh, you know, an experiment and I try to do a little bit of, you know what I mean, everything on my, uh, on my, on my dish and I, I try to do a little bit of mixing on my ingredients as well. So, but um, I'll show it to you guys tonight. Um, I'll take you guys step by step. I'll try to go slow. Like what I said, I'm, I'm just so used. Until I decided we're gonna, you know, do like some blogging, <laughs> and I was like, okay, I need to go slow. You know what I mean? It's not like just me anymore. I'm actually uh, showing my, you know, like you guys, and hopefully uh, you guys can learn this one. Like what I said, guys, this one is uh, a, a lot. I put a lot of ingredients on my uh, on my dish, guys. So, but like what I said, you guys can, you know, always modify it, um, and and based on your preference, right? Uh, you know, you guys can just do the traditional uh, basic one. I know that one's so simple. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys my, my ingredients right now. Alright, guys. Like what I said, uh, we're doing we're doing the chicken um, Alfredo or creamy a cheesy um, style. My my version. So uh, I got some um, a breast uh, chicken here, guys. Um, Jaden's actually here, <laughs> trying to mess with everything. Um, garlic, two cloves of garlic, two cloves of garlic, guys. Um, uh, got some uh, onions, um, you know, not not too fine, but you know, I just kind of like diced them out. Um, did did like three segments on of the of one half of it, or both halves of it. I got some. Um, I got like a butter here, guys. Um, so I'm using the uh, the Alfredo uh, sauce, uh, ready made, guys. Um, th I got this one at Walmart. Um, this one just like make it like really easy to to make, and then. The, the only reason why I kind of like uh, mix this one up with something else because I don't I don't like the taste just of this one right here guys but if I if I mix it up with the ingredients that I will show you guys man this will bring it up to like the next level trust me um, of course you know a little bit of parsley here for garnishing uh, uh, at the end of it uh, maybe a little bit of salt we'll see we'll see how it will turn out just in case uh, pepper guys and then um, yeah every time you every time you cook a uh, 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 any any kind of um, I would say like uh, um, this this style of uh, dish, guys. I always try to use um, like olive oil. It just like brings a different taste on the um, on the pasta. There you go. That's the word that I'm trying to look uh, pasta. So I try to use olive oil. I know I know sometimes it's so expensive, but um, yeah, I'll just get like the gen generic brand, like the Walmart brand, and this will this will do. Just for any pasta, guys. This is what I use. And then um, yeah. Don't forget this one right here, guys. I showed you guys this one so many, so many times, but this will do the trick, guys. This will bring out a lot of aroma and the flavoring on your chicken. So um, yes, don't forget this one, guys. I'll, I'm gonna show you guys later on. I'm, I'm gonna incorporate that one there. And of course, uh, I got the right this time, the right one, <laughs> chicken. But like what I said, if you guys don't have it, um, you know what I mean. You can just use the whatever you guys have in the fridge. And then these are the cheeses that I will uh, use, guys. The feta. That's the pedal right there, pedal, and then uh, the the parmesan right here, guys. So that's, that's those are the cheeses that we're gonna be using um, on this dish. All right, guys, we're gonna be start cooking. Um, but before that, I'm gonna show you guys my gang gang wheel pass. All right, all right, guys. I'm actually uh, bringing my uh, my tripod with me. Like what I said, uh, it's a it's a sports uh, night tonight because uh, my my Niners they're playing the uh, the Green Bay Packers tonight so I'm a Niner fan guys since I uh, move out in the US uh, so yeah so it just kind of like you know stuck with me until now so yes and of course for NBA you know the Spurs I always love the Spurs since like Jordan left the Bulls and you know Tim, I found out about Tim Duncan and then I start becoming like a you know a Spurs fan since then until now even though they suck I still uh, I still you know watch them so 
I don't know if I can see you guys. I'm actually uh, trying the uh, the landscape because uh, some people they kind of like complain <laughs> that you know they can't really like see the you know the screen like whenever they try to play it on TV, uh, they only see like the portrait uh, the portrait um, what they call format. So we're gonna tr I'm trying to do the, uh, something different right now. Hopefully it will turn out to be pretty good. But I'm not so used with this angle, so I'm trying to you know find a right good angle you know where the camera is at because it's like way on one side. It's not like really centered because I'm using my cell phone. Maybe if I have money, then maybe I can buy like a good uh, camera, guys. But yeah, I was just going to show you guys uh, my gang gang. Hopefully, I'm not going to drop this phone. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, Javin. Javin is by himself. Look at his crib. Yeah, um, my wife, she set this one up. So hopefully, it will help him, um, you know, like uh, sit up and all like that, guys. Because it's not sitting up yet and you know the doctor is a little worried but i think i think it's normal it's probably just a little bit delayed but yeah but he can like move around in, in this uh this this uh setup right right now guys so so yeah i don't know if you guys can see him that's my boy i'll carry him like later on but i'm gonna i need to start cooking so yeah and then uh we'll we'll come to visit uh jaden is on the other room and um i was looking for jaden uh, and i can hear some use uh, some uh something in the tv so he, he's actually uh, uh, watching in the in the master bedroom, guys. It's uh, watching his uh, favorite uh, Miss Rachel. So I'm just gonna walk in here, show you guys before I start cooking. That's Jaden. Hi, Jaden. You're happy you're watching your favorite show? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna leave him alone, guys. It looks like he's so serious. And then we'll start cooking in the kitchen. Okay. Just hanging tight there, guys. I can make you something. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, we're back on this side of the, uh, <laughs> you know, what I mean, the, the house. You know, like my, my one of my paved uh, spot because I love to cook. Uh, I love to. This is where I, you know I love to incorporate something and kind of like experiment. Uh, kind of like you know mo uh, what do you call it? Modifying uh, the Filipino dish. Um, yeah. So we're back here. Um, like what I said, guys. This one is so simple. Um, I just incorporate a lot of uh, the what do you call it? The uh, the ingredients. But but it's really easy and, and simple, guys. And trust me, this one is like probably like one of the best uh, you you will taste uh, out there when it comes to like uh, the Alfredo uh, sauce and all like that. So yeah, so I'm, I'm back on my walk. Um, yeah, my, my mom actually <laughs> got this one for us, guys. So I'm I'm glad. Uh, all, everything that I got here, I got it from my mom, guys. <laughs> so she brought everything here when I got this house. So yeah, don't forget your um, don't forget your uh, wooden. Uh, your wooden spatula, guys. Uh, you know, and that way you can, you know what I mean. The longevity of the uh, walk, you know, will, you know, will uh, will last for a while, right? So, and we don't really want like scratching off the, the surface of, of uh, any like uh, non-stick up pan, right? So that's what we're doing. Like what I said, guys. So when it comes to like uh, cooking uh, pasta, guys, that's the only time. I mean, uh, of course, a steak as well. You know what I mean? I would say like steak, uh, maybe some of uh, the fish uh, dish. Uh, this is the only time that I will use uh, olive, oil, olive oil, guys. Um, some of the oil, guys, I, can't, I don't like the, the taste that they bring on the uh, on the pasta. I feel like the olive oil, I'm pretty sure um, you guys watch a lot of cooking show, and they use a lot of olive oil when it comes to, like, a, you know, Italian dish and all like that. But, yeah, you can go wrong, guys. That's the only time I use it. But, but if you guys don't have it, by all means, guys, please. You don't spend a, don't spend extra money. Just use what you guys have. Even the canola or vegetable oil will do it. It's just a matter of you know what I mean, like the the main ingredient that will do the job. So yeah. All right, guys. We're we're here. Uh, we're just heating up the uh, the the wok right now. I love to use the wok, guys, because like what I said, you got a lot of room in there, and um and I, and I feel like it kind of like um uh, prevent you from like making a lot of mess in the uh, the stove or wherever you guys are cooking so that's the only reason why i'm using a, a wall so yes so yeah we're just gonna heat up uh we're just gonna heat up this uh, pan guys um and then uh, um and then we'll, we'll start cooking like what i said guys this is just a matter of uh i would say like a three step in the in the beginning and then uh, after that guys it's just a matter of like Incorporating all, all the ingredients in there, but uh, once you're done with the uh, sauteing the you know, like the garlic and the uh, the onions and and the chicken, guys, it's just a matter of incorporating incorporating the you know, what I mean, like the cheese and some of the um, the seasoning that I that I use. So, yeah, we're just gonna wait until this one is uh, heat up, guys, and then we'll, we'll be we'll be we'll be back, all right, guys. Um, the walks uh, should be like a uh, hot uh, enough right now. 
So I stopped with the garlic, like what I said, uh, I keep on repeating myself. There, there are times that um, I see like uh, people um, starting with the, uh, the onion first. But um, but yeah, I, I feel like it's just a matter of really like a timing, guys. Um, in that way, you're not going to end up like burning the uh, your your garlic. And, and it, it really depends on your preference too, guys. I know some people, they love to... Uh, uh, kind of like um, caramelized or not caramelized but kind of like a uh, golden brown their garlic but uh, me I'm just like right I would say like right in the middle guys I don't like the taste of uh, like the um, the burnt uh, garlic too I still sub have some of the skin in there so I'm just trying to remove it so that should be good right there guys as you guys can see it's already turning like a little bit brownish so that's like um, you know what I mean just like a hint for you to um, you know and, and tell you like hey put the onions now and that's what I do so I don't really like, um, you know, what I mean, uh, burning or over, over, over. Uh, what do you call it? Golden browning my, uh, my, uh, my garlic, guys. So yeah, like what I said, guys. Basic, right? Uh, sauteing again. Pretty much like everything that we do, right? Like for Filipino dish, even for like this one, guys. I, I love to, yeah, I love to like saute that, um, the meat and everything first. So yeah, we're not gonna wait, guys. I'm actually gonna pour the uh, this uh, sliced uh, uh, what do you call it, a uh, breast uh, chicken now. I'm just gonna increase the uh, the fire a little bit. Yeah, this is the only one that takes uh, actually a long time, guys. But after this one, I feel like it's just a matter of. Um, you know what I mean? Like putting the the rest of the ingredients and everything. So I'm I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you guys like wait for this one, guys. I'll, I'm actually gonna come back when it's all like cooked and everything. All right, guys. Uh, like what I said, uh, you know we're probably just gonna we're not gonna cook this chicken all the way, guys. Uh, we're probably gonna um, kind of like I, I won't say like toast it, but kind of like cook it enough, guys. In that way, you know what I mean? Like all the muscle and everything on both sides are kind of like cooked in a way. And then we're gonna start like garnishing it and everything, guys. So I would say like on, um, when you see like the chicken all like white and everything like right now, guys, then um, we can start with the uh, the cubes, the nor cubes, guys. So I'm just gonna put like a. Hi, Jaden. I'm just gonna put like one nor cubes in there, guys, just for like flavoring. So I'll put it in there. And then you kind of like, you know, don't forget to, you know, continue like mixing it, guys. And that way, you know what I mean, it's not going to get burnt or anything like that because you don't want the, the taste um, on our uh, dish. So we're just going to continue until we see a little bit of, of browning, um, the browning of the meat on um, one side. When you see a little bit of that one, then that's like a hint for you, uh, like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm good on the next step. That's how I do it, guys. So if you're asking me, like, you know, like time and everything, I don't, I, I, I probably don't have a, <laughs> you know, what I mean, I'm not a professional chef. I, you know, I just cook like based on like experience and the, the way I cook it, guys. So, but yeah, but I'm pretty sure a lot, a lot of you guys can relate. Uh, I, I can relate to just what I said. So we're gonna cook it like that, guys, and then. Uh, and then we're gonna be putting the next uh, garnish, garnish in there. All right, guys. Um, yeah, don't forget this one. Remember, I showed you guys this one, right? Man, this one will, um, yeah, bring out all the uh, the flavor and the aroma whenever you're cooking uh, th this dish, guys. Just like any, just like the pasta. Um, what do you call it? Um, a dish that I that I showed you guys. That I used this one too, guys. So we're gonna put this one on the chicken, guys. It's, it's kind of like marinating it in a way, guys. Before we um, before we put the um, the sauces and all like that, so I love to put the extra extra whenever I cook this uh, this little credit or chicken guys. So yeah, don't forget this one. So we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna cook that one, guys. We're gonna continue cooking it until we don't see uh, uh, the the pink uh, coloring on the the meat anymore. Yeah, like the, like what I said, this one is the only thing that, that takes a minute, guys. Uh, cooking the chicken and then after that it's just a matter of like 
you know what I mean, like uh, simmering it, I mean boiling it, uh, boiling it first and then uh, uh, simmering it uh, right after. Oh yeah, and then you can uh, you can put your uh, pepper too, guys. So I'm gonna have the pepper right now. So yeah, so we can put the pepper too, guys, just for extra fla flavoring. So there you go, guys. Just kind of like bring the, the flavoring on the, the chicken as well. Kind of like help out the chicken to produce all the flavoring too, guys. You guys can probably hear a Javin. Javin is probably, is probably hungry now. It's, a, it's time. And Jaden too. I'm pretty sure Jaden will be uh, hungry soon. Oh yeah, my son loves the sauce too, guys. And I, I put it on this, uh, I put it on his rice whenever I cook this one. So yeah, we're just gonna keep mixing it guys and that way like I said we're not gonna burn it or you can lower the uh, the oven. Yeah, we're just gonna let it cook a little bit guys and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the next step. Alright, I'll be right back guys. Alright guys, we're gonna, um, um, what do you call it, make this boil a little bit. So, um, I actually have a broth in here guys that I got at our local, local store here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this one guys, because I don't want it to, uh, you know, to be super dry the chicken, so I'll put a little bit of this one because I'm gonna uh, kind of like want to put it to boil first before I start putting the uh, the sauces and everything. Yeah, like what I said, guys. Uh, once you start putting the sauces and everything, it should be uh, it should be almost cooked from there. And I don't I don't want like the chicken like uh, what do you call it not cook on, on the inside. So we're gonna let it like boil just to play it safe, guys. Just to make sure like the the whole chicken is actually cooked from in and out from inside out. So yeah, we're just gonna uh, put this one to boil, guys. And then uh, we'll, 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 we'll continue after that. Yeah. Alright guys, so, um, yeah, it should be, uh, this one should be good guys. Like what I said, we're using a breast uh, chicken. And it shouldn't take us that long to uh, actually cook that one guys. I feel like a uh, breast uh, chicken part is one of the easiest uh, one to cook. Uh, we have the uh, chicken uh, parts. So yeah, so from here guys, um, I'm actually gonna start the putting the uh, the sauces that I that I got, guys. Uh, these are like ready-made um, Alfredo uh, sauce, right? So you can just like use any brand, guys. I just prepared this one right here, this uh, Prego. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start putting this one, guys. Yeah, you guys are probably wondering why I cook so much. Like what I said, uh, <laughs> you know, Jaden loves this one too, and it kind of like save us. And this one's so good, guys. We can eat this one like for the next two days, and we don't get tired of it. So it kind of like prevent us from uh, from cooking. You know what I mean? From time to time, that's why I kind of like cook uh, a lot. So and then what I do, guys, with the leftover inside is uh, I actually put uh, this uh, the crema too. This this one right here. So I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna put that one just to kind of like rinse out the uh, uh, what do you call it the container right. So what I do is I kind of like put this one here and then and then I'll, I'll kind of like shake it off and then transfer it on the other container and then throw it in there. Yeah, I, I would say like at least like put uh, one of this Nestle uh, cream guys right here. I, I would say like just one. I don't want like I don't want like too creamy. That will kind of like make it like too creamier, uh, cream, creamier right there, guys. Or if you guys have the, um, uh, what do you call it? There's another one that you can buy. Uh, I forgot what it is, but yeah, you can you can use that one as well. Anything like to make it like creamier. So we're gonna transfer that one there. And we'll we'll shake it up and then we'll uh, and then we'll, we'll we'll pour it in here, guys. And then I can put like maybe like broth to kind of like bring that one up as well, guys. So I'm gonna get my my broth again. Got the uh, broth in there, guys. I don't know why the other one's so thick. Uh, probably it's because it's cold. 
Usually that one that one will work too, but I, it's not working this time. So I I took I I took the abroad out again out of the fridge, guys, just to kind of like rinse this uh, container, and that way we can um what do you call it? Uh, bring out all the uh, remaining uh, the residue in there. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That should that should be good right there, guys. And don't forget to uh, don't forget to. Oh, uh, Sorry. Don't forget to uh, to mix this one up too, guys, because I don't you don't want like the burnt uh, taste in there. So we're just gonna monitor it from here, guys. We're gonna monitor it from here, and that way we're not gonna uh, burn uh, the, the one uh, uh, down there. So we're just gonna monitor it, kind of like we'll, we'll we'll probably like simmer it from here, guys. We'll simmer it from here, and then we'll uh, we'll put the, uh, the the cheeses that I got the. Uh, uh, the feta, the feta, and then the um, the parmesan. So yeah, so I got the the cheeses right here. I'm just getting it ready. I'm still getting used with this uh with this angle, guys. This uh, <laughs> this uh, landscape uh, uh what do you call it uh format. I'm, I'm not so used on this one, so I'm trying to angle myself in that way. You guys can't actually see me, so <laughs> uh, so I apologize if it's not gonna turn out good. But yeah, it, it's it's like more of a trial and error right now. Hopefully, it will turn out to be pretty good. We'll be back, guys. I'm just gonna simmer it. I'm actually gonna cover it from here and then uh, lower the fire, and then um, I'm, I'm actually start boiling uh, the, the water uh, that we'll use the pasta that we'll use. So for this one, guys. Um, I don't have the spaghetti or fettuccine one, so I have this one here in our pantry. So we're gonna be using this uh, uh, rigat uh, rigatoni one, guys. So whatever pasta you guys can use, you guys, you, I mean, whatever pasta you guys can have. I don't really have a preference, guys. I feel like they're all just the same. It's just probably like more of a pre preference, but yeah. So we're gonna be using this one this time for this uh, for this alfredo sauce that we're creating. So yeah, we'll be back. All right, guys. Uh, like what I said, I'm, I'm, I started bo boiling um, the uh, the water for the uh, the pasta that we'll be using while I'm simmering the uh, the sauce. So like what I said, guys, we have this uh, rigatoni. So yeah, use whatever you guys have. So I'll put a little bit of salt in, in this water, guys, and maybe a little bit of uh, oil, guys. I'll just use the regular oil for, for this part, guys, and then. Uh, and then uh, time it, you guys. Uh, yeah, make sure you guys are timing your uh, your pasta. Um, our preference, guys. Um, it, it's more on the al dente, the al dente side. So uh, if you guys don't know the al dente, is like uh, it's like I would say like exact, the right exact. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the the texture and the consistency of the pasta. So so we're actually gonna time it. So uh, let's see here. Uh, this one, part, this part right here, guys, is the one that I actually follow whenever, uh, whenever it comes to like, uh, like the pasta. The rest I can just like uh, I, I kind of like I kind of like wing it, guys. I bowl it or whatever you call it. Um, yeah, like this one right here, it says uh, return to a boil, reduce heat to low, cover and simmer until pasta is soft, approximately eight to ten minutes. So, yeah, so we're gonna um, on the ten minute mark, guys. We're actually gonna start the. Um, you know, I mean, checking our pasta in that way. I don't like it like too soft, guys. I don't know about you guys, but any pasta that I eat, guys, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like the the very soft, uh, soft one. Um, yeah. So we're gonna time that one. It's just like ten minutes, and and I know, I know, because I've been cooking for a while, and I know exactly like how I want the pasta too. So we're gonna, we're just gonna keep an eye on 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 the pasta right there, guys. After like ten minutes, so I'm actually time it right now. All right, guys. Uh, like what I said, we're just gonna bring it to a little bit of simmer, guys. I feel like that's good right there, and I, I and I already tasted it, guys. Uh, so yeah, no need to put salt on this one, cause uh, yeah, whenever you guys are using the the peta, the peta, guys, um, yeah, be careful, cause this one is pretty salty. So just make sure this one is not so bad. The parmesan, um, yeah, make make sure make sure whenever you guys are incorporating uh, this uh, this peta right here. Uh, make sure uh, just to kind of like watch for the uh, the taste because this one like what I said it's too salty uh, with this amount that I've been cooking guys uh, I would say um, not more than half of this container guys so I'm not gonna measure it guys so like what I said not more than half not more than half of this one so there you go 
that should be good right there guys that's, that should be a good amount right there and then and then this one right there parmesan um you, yeah you can you can put like also like half of this container guys because this one's gonna bring out all the uh, the creaminess in there too together with the uh, the the crema that we put earlier guys that nestle uh, uh cream that we did so yeah we're gonna put the whole thing guys but it's really up to your preference of course the the more the parmesan of course the better right everyone everyone knows that one all the pasta lover out there right so yeah that, that should be uh that should be good right there guys that should be good that amount right there like i said i've been i've been cooking this one uh, me and my wife i mean even if we have like visitors when, when my parents are around this is the same amount that that i cook every time so i already know i already know the um the consistency and then the uh, the amount of uh, ingredients that i that i put guys so yeah so like what you get like, like like what you guys can see as soon as i put the cheeses in there guys it kind of like you know made it like a little you know thicker already right so but we're still gonna bring it bring it to simmer guys bring it to simmer uh you know reduce the uh a little bit of the water in there but i'm not gonna close it so i'm just i'm just gonna simmer it with the uh with the lid open right now guys and of course yeah don't forget yeah to eye on our our pasta right like what i said we're gonna we're gonna time it so in like six minutes and don't forget to kind of like mix it out too guys so we can you can mix it out too our pasta and that way it's not gonna stick on the uh, the bottom because i know some some of the pasta they love to stick in the uh, the bottom of the, uh, the the pot for the cooking way that you that you guys use so yeah so we're gonna leave that one like that uh this one right here i feel like it's I feel like it's on the right consistency right now, guys. Uh, um, and, and and then like what I said, no need to, uh, yeah, no need to put salt on this one because the the feta, the feta cheese, guys, uh, that's that's like salty already. So and then of course a lot of the cheeses too, can, they kind of like can make it like a little uh, uh, salt 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 salty to uh, the flavoring. So yeah, I feel like that's good right there. We're just gonna like, that's why I already lowered the, uh, the 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 oven. And then we're just gonna bring it to like a little bit of a simmering in there, and then uh, that should do our uh, sauce right there, guys. Yeah, like what I said, uh, this one is like really easy, guys. It's like really uh, easy a dish to make. Uh, the only, the only, uh, the only, the only thing that that makes you um, the one, that, the only thing that makes you um, uh, prolong the uh, the cooking of this one, guys, is the, uh, of course, like the pre preparation, right? You guys already know this one. Preparation and then the chicken, but as soon as the chicken is in there guys cook It's just a matter of incorporating the rest of the ingredients in there guys uh, And then, then yeah, yeah, this one is uh, ready to serve guys uh, um, Yeah, you can make this one a special dish for a special occasion guys uh, uh, And then yeah, it's, it's our go-to go uh, pasta. Uh, I do um, this one and then the um, the meatballs uh, uh, spaghetti that I do as well guys I'll, and then I'll show you guys uh, that one next time. So these are these are our go-to pasta, guys. I don't know if you guys can uh, hear a background, uh, you know, like crying or whining, guys. That's actually Javin. Javin is the one who's making all the loud noise. He's, he's probably a, he probably like peeping and all, and everything too. So that's why he's making a lot of noise. He's Javin. He has one tooth. He has one tooth. What's your yeah. one tooth? Show your one tooth. Damn. Oh yeah, I can see that one. That's so tiny. Damn. That's the reason why he's uh, making oh. a loud, loud noise. Another one about to come out. Yeah, he's There's so cute. Gonna be two. <laughs> they're the cutest guys when they're uh, at this age, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure all the parents out there they can relate. Uh, I always tell my wife like, I just want them to stay a baby forever. But <laughs> but I know that's not gonna happen. That's why you know I'm just like. Savoring and my, my wife was like, when oh my goodness, when they're gonna grow up? Like, yeah, well, you know, just take our time, you know what I mean? Because like what I said, you know, I, I know they're too much right now, but I but you know, I'm just like savoring the the moment that now that they're young, guys. I'm pretty sure a lot of parents can relate. So yeah, um, we're almost like done here, guys. I know it's taking me forever, but yeah, we're almost done. I, I was like looking at the uh, the middle of the stove, guys. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you guys can see this one. I was gonna, I was about to use this uh, butter right here, just for a little bit of flavoring. So, but I just kind of like pour a little bit in there, guys. Kind of like melted it on, on the microwave and put a little bit in there. So that's okay too, guys. Like what I said, for as long as you get, you get like a little bit of the buttery um, uh, flavor in there, because it will help out with the creamy of the uh, the sauce, guys. So yeah, I just put a little bit in there, as you guys can see. Um, I know it's been like sitting there forever. I, I was supposed to put it like when I was uh, uh, sauteing the garlic and the, before I put the chicken and everything too, guys. But that's okay. You know, we can put it, we can just like incorporate it like uh, towards the end too, guys. 
but like like this one right here guys uh, this one this one is already good good right here I can I can see right here guys this one should be good right here and I can tell like the, I already tasted it earlier guys it's just the right um, you know I mean the exact thing that we were looking whenever we're, we're cooking this one so yeah I already like put the uh, the, the, oh, the stove uh, the, the very uh, minimum uh, uh, fire in there guys just kind of like uh, you know keep it like hot and then this one right here should be good too guys and then we're, we're, we're doing the plating right after all right guys like what i said uh, this one's almost cooked uh, i got the the pasta in there it, um it probably like overcooked a little bit guys but it's not all my preference but it's okay just a little bit but this one should be should do as well guys so now we're gonna be uh, we're about to like uh, plate it guys yeah like this one right here it's like really ready guys and it's time for dinner as well guys so we're gonna plate it just like put like right like like that in the middle guys yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the, the consistency and the, 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 the creaminess and the thickness, guys, is actually there. So that should be good with that amount of pasta in there, in there guys. And then and then we're going to garnish it. Don't forget your parsley, guys. And then we actually have um, the Parmesan cheese powder as well, guys. So, yeah. There you go, guys. So that's our, um, uh, what do you call it? Alfredo uh, creamy, uh, cheesy uh, sauce in there with the um, you know chicken and then the, the rigatoni uh, pasta as well so yeah i don't know if you guys can see it but that's how i played it guys uh, this one's like ready for serving here you go guys all right guys uh, like what i said uh, you know like uh, that was hopefully that was like so easy i, I don't know why it, it took me so long i guess with in the preparation and the, the camera to the way i was like angling and everything because i was like trying to do it landscape in that way uh, we can you know give it a try and hopefully it will turn out to be pretty good but yeah that, that's our version of the uh the chicken um creamy cheesy alfredo guys and you know like what i said and the pasta it just really up to your preference it can just like be anything right it can be the spaghetti the pettuccine right from there but yeah but that's how we uh, that's how we do it and that's my version right there guys uh you probably saw me like putting a little bit of um you know ingredients in there guys but just to kind of like bring out all the you know what i mean like the aroma and the taste and then the flavoring in there that's how i do it guys and uh yes Hopefully you learn, um, you know, a thing or two again, guys, with this episode. And um, and then after this one, um, I'm probably gonna do uh, my version of the um, what do you call it, the, the fruits uh, cocktail, guys. My version, and then I'm gonna show you guys that one too. Since like there's a big, there's a big, um, what do you call it? There's a big, uh, you know, game tonight. So I'm actually doing a pasta, like a, the main, uh, you know, what I mean, entree, right? And then we're actually doing a dessert as well. And then I'm, I'm going to show you guys th that one uh, here in a few minutes. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, that show. And then, uh, yeah, definitely uh, I'll take you guys on my next cooking show again, guys. Thank you. Peace out.